friends， 你好。好，让我们来继续学习。Let's continue our learning. 好，请你拿出这一本书 ，My Shared Reading Book。Can you also prepare a box of crayons and a pen? 再拿出一盒蜡笔和一支笔。好 ，Okay, let's get started with our reading. Remember, yesterday we learned about a new type of writing. A new type of writing. That is poems, right? Poetry, or you can say poetry. 昨天我们学了一个新的新的文体，文体就是啊、呃、故事的种类。这个文体叫做诗歌，诗 poem poetry. Can you say the word poem? Poetry. Good job. 很棒。好，昨天呢我们学了这一个诗。Yesterday we learned this one. Do you still remember? Ah, how do you read the first word? Diddle, diddle, dumpling. Yes, diddle, diddle, dumpling. Have you ever had a dumpling before? Do you know what is dumpling? A dumpling is a kind of food. Kind of looks like this. A dumpling. If you haven't tried it before, let me show you some pictures. As a Chinese people, Chinese people love dumplings. 中国人很喜欢吃饺子，对不对 ？Dumplings. Okay, let me show you this picture of dumpling. Here, do you see? These are dumplings. Dumplings. Okay, let's look at the picture. Now, let's look at the picture. Let's look at the picture. Do you see any dumplings in the picture? <laughs> no, there's no dumplings. You see a boy, right? See a boy in his bed. 看到一个男孩子在床上 What is he doing? Oh, he's sleeping, right? He's sleeping. 他在睡觉。他在睡觉。Then why are we talking about dumplings? <laughs> Let's figure this out by reading the book. Let's start from here. Diddle, diddle, dumpling. Can you read the next word? My, my, my son, my son. John, my son John, diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Remember, <laughs> what's this word? W, went, went. Oh, you must know this word, right? Two, yes, two. What about the next word? 下一个单词会读吗 ？B a d. Bed, right? Bed. Can you draw a bed over here? Bed. Bed. 床 Okay, you can draw a pillow, some comforter, and the bed skirt. Okay, <laughs> I like my bed. Went to bed. With his, his went to bed with his. Ah, this big, big, big word. Do you remember this one? Oh, I told you today. I told you yesterday. It's trousers. Trousers. Trousers means pants. British people will say trousers instead of pants. In America, we call them pants, but in some other parts of the world, 
like Britain or Australia, they sometimes call this trousers.、Mm. So that's different for this different expression. Can can you say that one more time? Trousers, trousers, 裤子 trousers, 裤子 Please draw a pair of trousers here. Okay, with his trousers on. <laughs> Let's read this whole sentence one more time. Went to bed with his trousers on. Okay, let's sing this sentence. Went to bed with his trousers on. Good job. Let's turn to the next page. Do you know how to read the first word? If you know, you're excellent, because the word is one, one like one, two, three, one shoe, one shoe, off, off, and what's this word? Oh, this we must already know. This is the, the, the. The, or you can say the other, the other shoe on. One shoe off, and the other shoe on. Okay, let's sing this. One sh, one shoe off, and the other shoe on. Okay, let's move to the next sentence. Oh, this one we already know. That's ditto, ditto, dumpling. What is dumpling again? What is dumpling? It's here, right? The food, dumpling, dumpling. My son John. My son John. So all of the story is talking about John. John, right? John went to bed with his trousers on, one shoe off and the other shoe on, right? <laughs> so why do you think there is the word dumpling? It's because dumpling might be his nickname because he is little like a dumpling, right? If he is little like a dumpling, so maybe that's why. This author call call him dumpling. 为什么要会有饺子呢？在文章里面，并没有谈到饺子，对不对？是一个小男孩，他的名字叫 John。他在睡觉，睡觉的时候 ，one shoe one shoe off and the other shoe on， 就是一只鞋上，一只脚上有鞋，一只脚上没有鞋，对不对？还有呢，穿着裤子就去睡觉了。<笑>为什么会有 dumpling 这个词呢？就是因为它的小名，它的昵称可能叫 dumpling， 而且它小小的，对不对？像一个饺子一样 ，dumpling 饺子。好 ，Let's sing this song one more time. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and the other shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Do you know how to sing it? Okay, let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to bed with his trousers on. One shoe off and the other shoe on. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John. Good job, excellent. Okay, this time, here is your time to finish this homework. Today, I want you to draw John over here, and he went to bed with his trousers on. Don't forget that he also went to bed with one shoe off and the other shoe on. 
So please draw John over here and then write the sentence. What sentence should we write? We can write one shoe off and the other shoe on. Or you can write John went to bed with his trousers on. Can you do that? Okay, please do this and take a picture and send it to me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 好，今天的作业就是画一个 John 在这边，把这个图片画下来。不要忘记，他是 John， 他睡觉的时候穿着裤子，一只鞋穿着，一只鞋没有。然后呢，在这边，请你写一个句子。你可以写什么呢？你可以写这句话 ：Went to bed with the trousers on。或者呢，你也可以写这句话 ：One shoe off and the other shoe on。把这句话抄下来写在下面就好了，明白吗？好，那就这样了，再见，拜拜。